An increase in car fires just like this one sparking concern from first responders who are called out to snuff them out. Welcome back to 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler joins us live to tell us what's fueling these flames and what you can do to stop them. Nicole, good evening. Well, Eric, Deanna, fire crews in Hanover and Henrico are feeling the heat as they respond to an increasing number of car fires over the past couple of years. Now they're sounding the alarm so car owners will know what to do to prevent them. Fire crews fears are growing over the steady rise in car blazes. It's not only difficult for first responders, it's also dangerous for everyone around. I think a lot of people would be surprised just how dangerous a car fire can be. In Hanover County, the fire department reports more than 80 vehicle fires this year. Last year, crews responded to 60, and that was 25% higher than the number of vehicle fires in 2021. In Henrico County, the fire division reports an average of 150 car fires a year. But this year so far, they're already passing that number with 153. Henrico's battalion chief, Doug Reynolds, says most of the car fires they respond Respond to happen in car crashes, adding that even a small spark can lead to a fire. It doesn't take a, a, a small fire long to get to be a big fire. There are many causes behind the worrying trend, like overheating, fuel system leaks, and poor maintenance. Fire officials say to prevent them, do routine maintenance, transport gas cans and propane tanks in the back of the vehicle, and avoid parking near flammable items. Reynolds says putting out car fires can be daunting. That smoke is very, very toxic and can be very, very poisonous. So if you're driving down the road and suddenly smell smoke and see flames shooting from under the hood, this is what you should do. Because that's what we're trained to do and we have the equipment, most importantly, to fight that fire. You just can't take it for granted what's going on when these things catch on fire. Both Hanover and Henrico fires say they haven't responded to any electric car fires just yet, but when the time comes, crews will be ready to battle them. Live in Henrico, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.